morning from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. The grand opening is coming in March 2021. Hallelujah. What's on my heart today that I wanted to encourage you with as a believer, as a blood-washed child of God, someone who is called on the name of Yeshua and believes and has faith in Yeshua, the precious gift from God, the Son of God, that we need to learn how to hold on to our uniqueness in a community of believers. How do we stay out of religiosity? How do we stay out of falling into peer pressure? How do we hold on to our one-of-a-kind self? This is very important because every day I ask the Lord, what do you want me to speak about today? And I really felt that he wanted me to speak about this. We are, are, are truly one-of-a-kind. How do we hold on to our one-of-a-kind self when we are immersed in a community? These are really important things. I think the answer is really having a relationship with the Holy Spirit, the presence of Yeshua that lives and dwells in our being. And the Bible says when we come to believe on Yeshua, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit indwell us, and we have resurrection power. The same power that rose Yeshua from the dead lives within us. Wow, that's amazing power. So we need to develop our relationship with God, with the Holy Spirit, so that we can allow the Holy Spirit of God to lead us and guide us so that we do not fall into peer pressure, so that we do not believe the lie that we are supposed to conform. We're supposed to be a certain way. No. We are a child of God. We have the Spirit of Yeshua living and breathing in us. We've received Him as Lord and Savior. Now, we can become everything, that one-of-a-kind person that God has made us to be, to be that light. The Bible says we have been set apart. Some years ago, the Lord said to me, I've not called you to fit in. I've set you apart. I've called you to shine your light, which is scripture. Yeshua said, shine your light. Shine your one-of-a-kind light, everybody. Hold on to who you are. How do you know? How do you do that? You let the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit only, lead and guide you through his word and all the ways that he speaks to you, his spirit to your spirit. God bless you from the city of rejoicing, Yerushalayim.